So the example problem we'll be walking through today is from lecture 8. It is example problem 8.2 and it says at one instant in mid stance the vertical ground reaction force acting upon the left foot of a 75 kilogram man is measured to be 680 newtons. So what is the man's vertical acceleration at this time? Alright, so we have a man walking in swing phase and the ground reaction force is acting upward on his body represented by newtons while his weight is acting d downward on the system which is represented by W we will make the upward force positive and the downward force negative for this particular problem his mass is 75 kilograms and the ground reaction force acting on his body is 680 newtons the question asks what is the acceleration in the vertical direction for this man the formula we will use is the sum of all the forces in the vertical direction set equal to the mass times acceleration in the vertical direction the forces we use from our problem are weight plus newtons and set this equal to mass times acceleration and this will help us find acceleration in the vertical direction for this man Okay, so since we are given 75 kilograms as his mass, we want to convert this to newtons by multiplying by 9.81 to get a total of 735.75 newtons. We then plug this into our original equation, which was weight plus newtons equals mass times acceleration in the vertical direction. And we use negative 735.75 since we made weight negative in the original um, beginning part of this problem and we add 680 newtons which is the ground reaction force for this problem since we made that the positive direction and set this equal to the mass times acceleration. The total net force we found for this problem was negative 55.75 newtons which was equal to the mass times acceleration in the vertical direction and finally we divided negative 55.75 by the mass of the man which is 75 kilograms to get the average acceleration and the acceleration in the vertical direction came to be negative 0.743 since we set negative originally as the force acting downward in this problem, the average acceleration will be acting downward as well. So a couple of key points we're going to highlight on what we went over in problem 8.2 are uh, how we showed you how to convert mass to newtons. Uh, we were given kilograms for this problem and by multiplying by 9.81 we get newtons, which was the weight for this uh, man for this problem. We also taught you how to use the formula, the total net force set equal to the mass times acceleration. The total net force was found using the weight and the ground reaction force applied to the man, and we set this equal to the mass, which was 75 kilograms, and found the uh, acceleration in the vertical direction using this formula. We also wanted to highlight the, the importance of designating positive and negative forces for your problem originally, right from the start, to um, give you direction and basically for the rest of your problem. 